Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, June 21st, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Let's begin today by wishing America's Got Talent on NBC a very happy seventh birthday. It debuted on this day in 2006. The original host was Regis Philbin, and the original judges were David Hasselhoff, Brandy Norwood, and Piers Morgan. Now let's head over to CBS. The network has unveiled the next set of competitors for Big Brother 15, which returns on the network this coming Wednesday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. The age range is 23 to 37. And if you go to our website at www.tvmediainsights.com, the ultimate Big Brother fan, Douglas Pucci, has compiled a list of information on each of the competitors. You know, the amazing thing about this show, at least for me, is no matter what season it is, if you watch initially for five to ten minutes, you are sucked in for the next three months, and I am personally very happy that Big Brother is starting a few weeks earlier this summer. It gives us more time to spend in the house. Over at NBC, the current Stanley Cup final series, according to the network, based on the first four games through Wednesday is averaging 5.36 million viewers. This is its most watched series ever, and I have more information for you at our website and in today's newsletter. HBO will be adding a tagline, or it already started, to any episode of The Sopranos it will be airing at present, and it will read... HBO mourns the loss of James Gandolfini, a beloved member of the HBO family. You know, two days later, it is still so hard to believe that James Gandolfini passed away. He was only 51 years old, and in my humble opinion, he was the best actor of this generation of anyone doing television. His scenes with Edie Falco were absolutely magnetic. Rest in peace, James Gandolfini. So sad. He had so much more to give, and he was taken away so soon. Over at Comedy Central, the cable network has announced a new half hour. It is called The Meltdown with Jonah and Kamal. It will feature comedians Jonah Ray and Kamal Nanjiani, and it will take place backstage at a comic book store on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. On a personal note, my 19-year-old son Brandon decided he wants to do comedy and he has been performing in a number of clubs in New York, so I do hope he checks out this comic book store when he is in Los Angeles this summer. Coming up on the air tomorrow night on Lifetime is a made-for-TV movie called Jody Arias Dirty Little Secrets. I don't have to tell you what that is about. You know, once upon a time, this type of made-for-movie storytelling was very prevalent on the broadcast networks. You don't see it anymore there, but Lifetime still does very well with it. And then coming up on the air on Sunday is the debut of three series. The first is called Who Done It on ABC. It airs 8 o'clock on Sunday out of a repeat of America's Funniest Home Videos. It comes from CSI creator Anthony Zucker, and it will follow 13 amateur sleuths who try to solve the mystery of a mock murder. It's a reality show. Then on NBC at 9 o'clock is the debut of a new drama called Crossing Lines. They will air two episodes. It is set in multiple locations across Europe, and it tells the tale of a disgraced New York City cop who finds redemption after joining the International Police Unit that investigates serialized cross-border crimes. And then finally, on Lifetime, is the launch of Devious Maids. It comes from Desperate Housewives creator Mark Cherry. It was initially pitched to ABC. ABC passed. Lifetime picked it up, and it tells the tale of five maids working in Beverly Hills who have aspirations of their own. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 21st day of June. I want to thank you for joining me, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone.